Okay. Uh, fresh off the farm. Now, what I'll show you is the uh, a, a maple leaf duck, a regular duck you're going to be taking and using for duck meat is about eight weeks old. And it's going to be about eight pounds lead weight, five pounds dress weight. And at eight weeks old, it's a very young bird. This comes into the barn at about 20 pounds. And it dresses down to 16 pounds or so with all the um, entrails. And it's still going to have about a 12 pound carcass when it's all done. So it's a very big bird, much like twice the size of the regular duck that you get from maple leaf. Um, now the trick is not to cut the liver, and the guys do this so fast, and the girls. I can never make a living doing it, but the idea is to show you the foie, it's, it's proportion in the bird, it's, it's, it's location and it's size. Now we'll get the foie. That one has a little bit of bruising on it. But it. Oh my god. It's in there. <laughs> That's a nice big one. It's exactly what it is. Yeah. It's a big fuel tank. That's a great way to put it. Now, see that? Some of this will come out in the ice overnight. But it's nice and firm. That's an A foie gras. Now the, the A is bigger, firmer, and relatively bruise free. This might end up as a B if that doesn't come out overnight, but that's a very shallow bruise. That's just like one headbutt from you know, one sweet thing. I can see them doing it right now. They're just going <laughs> to break each other with their heads. That would wholesale in Connecticut for how much? Yeah. It, should this be graded out as an A, uh, it'd be like $38 a pound. That's about a two pounder. So seventy-five to eighty dollars for this loaf right here. This is probably two point one or two point two. It's a nice size loaf. So nine hundred grams. Well up into the range of being quite rough. So you use all your little tidbits. Oh yeah. Slicing it, use all the little tidbits for something else. Now I'll show you what else we use on this bird. It's important that you understand that there's that nothing is wasted. Um, you can kind of see the th size and diameter of the throat right there. It's a uh, very large, very capable. The gizzard's right on top of that. But there's the size of the throat. That was, was eaten right up until the last day. And uh, now the, the fat near the entrails can't be taken. All the rest of the fat can. But that's you got a good chance to show you the size of the throat right there. It's a big throw, so that tube is really not invasive. And now, the only thing we can save is the gizzard. It's a phenomenal muscle. I, I ate it um, in France like every day for three days. I was there at the, the farm show. It's an amazing piece of meat. There's a. red muscle. It's about you know, three ounces, four ounces. They're split down the middle and then and cleaned on a wire brush in a big operation. But the gizzard's a really phenomenal piece of meat and it should be enjoyed as a confit even. Now, that's another vocabulary word. I don't know if you, you want me to, to go on with that. But confit, I mean, you all know what confit is, whether you're confit and uh, whatever product it might be. Now, there's another thing that comes out of the duck that the French are very uh, intrigued with, and that's the duck testicles. They're also called um, white kidneys. The heart is uh, a, lot, a lot of times used for sausage. It's, uh, it's another organ meat that's, uh, that's used and sold. Very traditional French cuisine, which we have a, we have a great company, D'Artagnan, in, in New York. And they have all the French chefs that that use all these ingredients. So we sell a ton of duck testicles, and they're known in here as white kidneys. But uh, they're they're basically a snack, a bar snack. I have a guy in Scottsdale that's called duck nuts. He serves them on the bar, and they, they're breaded in cornmeal, and it's, it's, he's a character. <laughs> it's also, and they're actually 
more and more popular. I don't know whether I'm, I'm creating interest in them by going out. I, I have uh, mixed feelings about them. They're, they're kind of mealy. And uh, they're, they're edible. Okay. Another one. <laughs> I got marked for three years. And then one day I was doing a demo and I had to cut up the push on. The chef was cooking behind me. He goes, I think you're just about done, Rick. Check them out. I turned around and there's a plate full of the duck nuts. <laughs> Are they done? He's looking at me and I'm looking at all the people and I go, Yes. Uh, what was the food I was looking for? Oh, McGray. The, uh, okay, I'll slice up some salami to smoke. McGray is the breast of a fattened duck or goose. Now, the French had to come up with a word for the duck breast from a foie gras duck, which is different from the duck breast on a little seven pound maple leaf or crescent duck. And the reason why there had to be a different name for it is because it's a different product altogether. Now, you just try to think about it. It's been raised for 16 weeks. It's a giant bird to begin with, genetically. And it's been fattened. So it's going to be tougher. It's going to have a big layer of fat. So now, you see the amount of fat on this duck. And you can see the thickness of the breast and the color. It's going to have a little gamier flavor because its father was a Muscovy. It's going to have a lot of fat. It's going to be tougher because it's 16 weeks old, not 8 weeks old. Uh, there's the tenderloin, which is a great piece of meat. Um, and that's your McGray right there. It's going to run you about a pound. Um, I'm going to keep collecting fat here because when it's all over, you'll see how much fat you actually get off one of these ducks. That's about a pound. It's going to cost you $8, $9 in the kitchen. And uh, the last time you make three entrees out of two duck breasts so that you can get your food where it needs to be. But serve medium rare. I, I really shy away from saying much about how to cook. I really can't cook. <laughs> but um, that's, I can tell you that it's served medium rare most often. You don't want to overcook it. It was a problem to keep the, the McGray moving until people realized that it didn't need to be, you know, barbecued. It needed to be treated kind of gently and not overcooked. And uh, it's a very big, thick piece of, it's more steak-like than you can imagine. And that's worked out for us well in Texas, you know, um, <laughs> the tenderloins and the McGray. Another nice pound piece, got to trim a little bit of that fat off. But if you crisp it up, I, I love to just take, spend about 10 or 12 minutes on the fatty side and get this just crispy as can be. I score it first and then uh, crisp up the fat, flip it over and then barely cook it on the other side until it, it's just kind of pink on the inside. And slice it like you do a London broil for sandwiches or for well, whatever you're going <laughs> to. I'm around it all the time. That's kind of my, my trick. Just sear it, slice it. It's an amazing piece of meat. A lot more steak-like than, than regular duck. Regular duck is more like poultry. Now I'm going to start collecting the fat real quick. Give you an idea of how much fat's on the duck. You use that fat? Oh, yeah. We render it down. Uh, I can't keep it in the house now. More and more recipes are coming out for risotto with potatoes. Uh, whatever you're cooking, duck fat has become extremely popular. Now the next, we're actually setting up a kitchen. Um, it drives us crazy to sell these for 80 cents a pound. We, uh, we really like the neck meat, so we're actually making a, a, a steamer uh, set up on the farm to steam down the necks and uh, make the riet meat. Uh, it's a great piece of meat on here. There's little shards of meat mixed with raviolis or, or wontons. Uh, but the necks are, are inexpensive in there, but they're really delicious. Now, the legs are basically about a pound also. And they're, uh, they're going to be tougher because the duck is so much older and because they're climbing. Um, so the, the most common use on our legs is making foam feet. And the beauty of it is, you've already got a head start with, with a, that's a little more fat than you might ship them with. But you got a lot of fat on them already to begin with. So, 
you've got these one pound legs, and they comfy up really well because of the head start you have with all that fat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Please don't lose the brain. 